Hi, I'm Tom Trams with Linux MCE. This will be a very short and very pointed demonstration showing you some of the things I've been working on over the last couple of weeks with Linux MCE, especially in regards to the SmartQ V7 tablet. A wonderful piece of hardware that can, uh, without any additional assistance, play high definition videos and uh, act as a very nice little portable media device. This is a historic event because this is the demonstration of the very first portable mobile internet device integrated into Linux MCE itself. Now for this demonstration I'm actually going to show uh, selecting a piece of media on the orbiter for that device itself and having it play on the device as well as a few other small tricks as well. So without any further ado let's begin. As you can see here we have a SmartQ V7 orbiter. It runs our orbiter software right here and if we can see on the lower right hand corner here you'll notice that I have a uh, it's not a room that's actually an entertainment area which I call the smart Q tablet now this entertainment area is actually in the bedroom uh, so that we could actually get lighting control here so of course I mean I can take and turn off and turn on the lights and things will dim and and go up appropriately so I'm gonna go ahead and just make the, the lights nice and bright here now for this demonstration, I'm actually going to play a video, in this case, Buck Riders in the 25th Century. So I'm going to go ahead and select Video. And when the video menu comes up, you'll see that we have the media list, just like before. And I'm going to select Buck Rogers in the 25th Century. And you can see, once it comes up, you see the media information screen. And we can hit Play. And once we hit Play, you'll see that it triggers the video land that's on here to play the media automatically. Now, I do not uh, report any time code or anything else, so uh, I'm not uh, reporting any time code back. I still have that you have to do, and there are a number of other things that we have to do. But as you can see, it's playing the media, and it's playing the media just fine. The audio is actually very, very quiet, uh, so you can't hear it very well. I'm going to be implementing uh, volume next. Now, for my next demonstration here, I have right here an orbiter pad that is also set to the smart queue room. And I'm going to take it's set. It's currently set to main TV, and I am going to select the smart queue. And you can see that here we have the smart queue menu. If we go into it, we have the remote with the currently playing Buck Rogers. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause. As you can see, we can control the orbiters remotely and we can affect the position of the media go forward, go back etc etc there's still a lot of work left to do here but you can see that even with another orbiter pad here we can take and control the media remotely I'm gonna go ahead and bring the lights up but as you can see it works just fine and for my final trick here, I do not have uh, or I do not have VLC integration back into the orbiter yet. But ideally, once you touch the screen here, the orbiter display would come back up, and you would be able to adjust things from here as well. The other piece I want to add is for the follow me feature, which I will demonstrate next. Now, since this is integrated in as a as a first class media device that the system recognizes, follow me does work. Uh, which I will demonstrate actually right now. I'll go into here, and we're on the Smart Q uh, Media Orbiter page here, and we're in the Smart Q room, the Smart Q Entertainment area here. I'm going to go into the floor plan, so you can see. You can see that Follow Me is turned on, that the movie is playing on the Smart Q, which I have placed here on the table. No, this has been manually placed. It does not automatically move around with the floor plan. This was all statically placed just for demonstration purposes. This may change in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and actually take and move and change rooms now. I'm going to change rooms to the main TV. You'll find once I do that, it stops there and starts up here nice and transparently and if 
we go again. Main TV. Back to the Smart Q tablet. We'll find the media automatically gets bounced back here as well. And this will automatically pick up the time code appropriately once I get a few more bits and pieces integrated into the system, as well as volume control, etc. So, I hope this has been an effective demonstration of things to come. There are so many things that we can take and integrate into the system to make this thing even better. And I hope this serves as an inspiration to those of you who want to take and add devices and things to this system. We haven't even begun to scratch the surface of the possibilities of what we can add to Linux MCE. So let's see what else we can add. Let's see what else we can integrate. Let's make all this stuff plug and play and let's make it better. Until next time, see you guys later.